Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Lazardo, the director of UF Health's Screen Test and Protect program, and I'm here to bust myths around the COVID-19 vaccines. That's false. The COVID-19 vaccines are extremely effective in preventing COVID-19 illness and any symptoms at all from COVID-19. They're even more effective in preventing serious illness that might result in hospitalization or death. So therefore, this statement is false. This is also false. The COVID-19 vaccines have been given over 210 million doses throughout the United States, not to mention the other doses that have been given throughout the world. Death is extremely uncommon related to COVID-19 vaccination, far less common than it is with other more commonly given vaccinations that all of us have taken ourselves. So therefore, this myth is false. This is false. There have not been a lot of errors with vaccine administration. Through our team alone, we've given over 50,000 doses and more than 110,000 doses have been given Alachua County with extremely rare circumstances where there was a, a mistake of any kind that was able to be detected, far less than what you would see with other vaccinations. Although having had COVID and getting that infection naturally will provide you some immunity and protection, there's a growing body of evidence that shows that the immunity that you get from getting vaccinated provides far greater, uh, an, a far greater an immune response that's more protective. Um, it's important to keep that in mind because many people who think that because they've been infected, they don't pose a risk to others and that they themselves are gonna be safe, need to keep in mind that it's not clear that they don't pose a risk to others and that they may have mild illness and still spread it to one of their loved ones who may be more vulnerable. For that reason, the CDC and our team also recommends that people get vaccinated at least two weeks after they've recovered from COVID uh, infection or even if they've had a remote uh, experience with COVID to go ahead and get vaccinated and complete the series. So it's understandable that a lot of people believe that these vaccines are quote unquote experimental. They're not experimental. And the reason why I think people believe this is because the EUA, the Emergency Use Authorization, that is more of a technical term that allows the vaccines to be used before they complete the bureaucratic process to be fully cleared by the FDA under after a certain period of time. That FDA formal approval is coming here very shortly. When you look at the numbers of people that have been vaccinated, over 200 million doses having been administered in the United States alone and, and increasing by at least 2 million per day, um, the thought that this is an experimental vaccine is not true. Also, the fact that these did complete a full series of clinical trials and went through the same vig or vigorous uh, scientific process that all the medications in your medicine cabinet have, have gone through, all the vaccines you've ever gone through, these have gone through that same rigorous process. The difference, a lot of the bureaucratic red tape was kind of taken out of the way because of the emergency which the world was facing. And for that reason, these vaccines are considered extremely safe. And now with the experience of over 200 million doses over the last six months, we can have a lot of confidence to say that we can continue to move forward and that these vaccines are not experimental. It's time to do your part.